Hello and welcome to Man Cave Media. On this channel I talk about beer, sneakers, tech, and toys. If you're new here, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Also, please connect with me on social media. I'm on Instagram at media.mancave and on Facebook and Twitter at mancavemediaorg. And finally, if you enjoy listening to podcasts, please check out the League of Sedentary Gentlemen. We're available wherever you get your podcasts or direct from our website at man-cave-media.org. All right. I bought some sneakers for myself. And uh, in my opinion, they are very highly underrated. Let's check them out. All right, so um, what my kid just uh, humorously gave away, <laughs> these are the LeBron James 8 Space Jam. And in my opinion, a very underrated sneaker. And uh, I kind of was on the fence about them when they first released, so I didn't get them on launch day. They sold out rather quickly, uh, but they weren't selling, or they weren't reselling rather. And so there were a lot of returns and you know, price was fluctuating on StockX and whatnot. And I threw down a bid of what I thought was fair, uh, given StockX's uh, shipping fee and processing fees and everything like that. And lo and behold, right before the holidays, like what usually happens, uh, somebody actually accepted my bid. So I was able to grab these for $170. So after fees and shipping and everything like that, I think I ended up saving I ended up saving about $8, which I mean, $8 below retail is still $8 below retail, right? So um, with that being said, uh, once they arrived, I mean, I was very happy to have these. These are so good. I don't understand why they didn't resell so so well. I mean, or right, why they did so poorly rather, I should say. They don't make Zelda shoes, dude. Or else I would buy them. Uh, shoe number one. So good. It comes with a tag on the back. Yep. Shoe number two. Shoe number two doesn't come with them. Nope, they just give you one tag. Oh, the bunny's actually yeah. on, on the back. I'll tell you in a minute. All right, let's go ahead and get the box out of the way. So the, the box... The box is pretty standard uh, for a LeBron James 8. If you've ever bought a LeBron James 8 before, then you're familiar with this box. Um, I'll get close-ups of the box, even though I really don't care about boxes. All about that, all that much, but... Uh, so, here they are in all their glory. The LeBron James 8 Space Jam. So this shoe, excuse you. Yes, I will get to that. So my kids are super excited about Bugs Bunny being on the back of the shoe. So let's go ahead and get into that. The uh, the upper is a leather, synthetic, and suede uh, combination with this really cool... Um, oh, hold on. I forgot to stop my other camera. Um, with this really cool circuit board print uh, everywhere on the upper in between the flywire. Uh, it's really, really, really cool. I, I dig it a lot. And then on the, the inside of the shoe, you actually see Bugs Bunny's silhouette in the circuit board. And it's got a, a little bit of a, a texture to it, which is pretty cool. Uh, the suede is super soft on these. Very well done. Very nice. Uh, black laces with orange tips. And then the uh, translucent outsole that glows with the full length area in it typical for all LeBron 8s and then on the back 
as you heard my kids talk about, they were so excited for, Bugs Bunny. Uh, just under the pull tab. Orange and, orange and black swoosh. And let's see, what else do we got going on on the insole here? Let's check it out. Goodness, they shoved this paper down there. So the insole, oh, I can't see, what is that? Oh, it's just a LeBron James logo, okay. In uh, orange and black, I'll get, my camera's not gonna pick that up. I'll, I'll get a better shot of that. And then you have the uh, the uh, shiny Nike swoosh on the toe here. And then my kid just pointed out on the other shoe, it is actually LeBron James on the back instead of Bugs Bunny. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see, is that the only difference between the two? I think it is. Oh, and then on the, uh, well, that's just the StockX tag, buddy. That just means that's where I bought them from. Um, also on this side, it's LeBron silhouette in the circuit board rather than a Bugs Bunny. So that's cool. Uh, on the tongue on both sides, you have Toon Squad on the tongue. Pretty cool. Same thing, but Toon Squad. Uh, same uh, LeBron James logo on the insole. And yeah, overall same same pattern on both sides. Just the only difference is one side is Bugs, one side is LeBron. So I mean, very nice sneaker. Overall materials are nice. Uh, I like the hits of suede. Uh, I really dig the circuit board design. And of course, I mean, my favorite part of the LeBron Eight is the outsole. Uh, that translucent outsole with the full length air unit. Uh, just a nice looking sneaker overall that's that's my favorite part about this silhouette so all right let's go ahead and let's get some some b-roll and some on feet and then i will give you my final thoughts All right, so uh, my overall thoughts on these, they, the, you know, just like a standard uh, LeBron 8, they're really comfortable. Um, if you've never had a LeBron 8 before, they definitely get more comfortable as you wear them. They're definitely a, a, a break-in shoe. 
And, but once you get them broken in, they're very comfortable. Uh, retail on these guys was 200. Uh, I was able to get them for 170 plus fees and shipping on StockX. So I did save a little money and definitely benefited from them not having any resale value. <laughs> uh, again, I don't know why they don't have good resale value. They are very nice shoe, um, very underrated in my opinion. Very comfortable, just like a, any LeBron 8, like I said. And they get even better as you break them in. So if you were on the fence about these, like I was, uh, check the Nike outlets. I, I was able to find these in the Nike outlet uh, near my house, but I couldn't find my size. Uh, but they were marked down a tad uh, in the in the outlet. Or um, you could just throw down a low bid on StockX like I did. And I'm sure somebody will take it because I don't know why for some reason these aren't selling. In fact, let's look here and see. The last sale, yeah. The last sale for these in my size was 182, which is $12 more than what I paid. Um, I wouldn't be willing to pay that price because that ends up being over retail after you include fees and shipping. Um, but for lower sizes, I mean, they're, it's going for even less than that. So like for a seven, uh, seven and a half and an eight, they're right around one between 120 and 140. Uh, right now on StockX, and what's another common size, 10? Uh, size 10 is 150 bucks right now on StockX was the last sale. So, uh, I mean, if you were on the fence and you, you think you might want these, but you're not sure, I, I do recommend them and you can get them pretty cheap on StockX right now. I, I would I would go for it. All right, that's all I have for this one. Thank you again for stopping by. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great evening and like always, thank you for watching.